Hi, I'm Grant Moon, and I'm here in Texas at Hoofwatch on behalf of Mustad. I'm introducing the Mustad Equilibrium Air Horseshoe. This innovative horseshoe is a wide web shoe for the thinner web shoe to give lightness, but it'll still give coverage and protection. It has the equilibrium toe that goes from center of the toe right down to the widest points to give breakover in all directions. It's got a concave inside edge to help cleaning and give some lightness to the shoe. Broad heels to give support. It also comes with side clips and a seated sole surface. There's light boxing at the heels. The Equilibrium Air is in a front and hind, left and right pattern. The front shoe has a little bubble in the fullering and the little bubble is in the outside branch. So I'm going to just take a little bit of sole out of this, but not too much. These quite flat soled. Clean out the seat of corns. It's okay if the sole is dirty when we're finished. If there wasn't sole to remove, it's important not to remove it. I don't have a lot of depth to take off right now, so I'm going to level it. I won't need to nip it. Using the XL Legend. So not taking too much off because I am going to want to burn on. When I shape the foot, I shape it from toenail to toenail with a nice flow in the toe, and then I work around the branches. So I'm going to dress it as high as the flare goes or to the height of where my nails are. Use the rasp side just to get the most off. Nice smooth finish with this XL. What we're going to do, we're going to fit the shoe to the perimeter of the toe. We're going to give some expansion from the quarters to the heel. Shape the shoe. I'm just going to pull the heels out a little bit first. Set it in from the toe and bring it on from the quarters. Same on the other side. Straighten the heel a little bit. Push it in at the toe. We'll level the shoe. The next thing we do, we set our clips. Set our clips to the angle of the hoof wall. I normally start at the toe and work to the heel with my setting my clips in, thinking about the angle of the hoof wall. Now we can go to the foot. Run it on. I look over the front and make sure I only pull the shoe back to the perimeter of the foot. I look at the angle of my clips. I look down. Check my width from, fit from the widest point back. It's good. So right now I just need to set my clips just a little bit more. Just there for my final fit. Check the clip fit. Check the fit at the quarters and the heels. Now it's ready for finishing off and drilling and tapping. I've ground the shoe up, boxed off the edges. Now I'm going to mark where the studs are going to go. Whenever we're drilling holes, it's important not to cool the shoe out in water. Otherwise, it'll harden the material and it can damage your drill bits. I've drilled the holes. They've got a countersunk top. The countersunk will help prevent the thread from becoming damaged so that it'll be easy to put the studs in. I'm just checking the holes now with a 3.8 grass stud. Just make sure the thread's clear. Yep, that's great, so the customers are gonna be happy. Now we're gonna nail on using a Mustad ESL4. Two nails, toenails driven. Now I'm going to just check my shoe fit. So now I can drive the rest of the nails. Block the nails up. Now we can clinch it. I'm cutting my nails to length. Just over an eighth of an inch long. Clean the end of the nails up just to square them up. Make 
can use a hoof gouge if you go under each one. Let the space for the clinch. Finish the foot off. I'm going to use a double S hoof gouge to go under each nail. Make a nice space for the clinch. Which is over into the hole. And we just clean the foot off. Once I've cleaned the foot off, I'm just going to finish you with tough stuff. And the job's done. <laughs>